Hey. I was ranting. I was ranting hardcore. Ranting. Talking shit. And somebody came over. I'm sitting here. I'm looking at him come through. Now, this lady came over. This lady's some sort of snitch or something. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. She looked like shit. She used to be pretty attractive. She would come over every once in a while. Her dad comes. He's some sort of snitch creep. Gives me complete creepy vibes. Says weird shit. Out the side of his fucking face. Oh, it's hot. You know? They're fucking... I don't know if they're cops or something like that. I think so. Some sort of fucking gang stalking pieces of shit the whole family everything about them gives me creeps dude this lady was talking about working at the game room or something fucking I don't understand she was always dropping little fucking weird clues like she's trying to hint at something no it's somebody oh you gave me my change of money bag I'm surprised everybody keeps it this bitch came something needed to borrow fucking $30 and had never came back. It's been like fucking most of the year. Hell, that was like in January and just comes over now and doesn't even pay the money back that she needed to borrow and has the nerve to say some fucking gang stalker shit about $10. You wouldn't give me the $10 back somebody's fucking them over or something something stupid that's how the gang stalkers are and I'm like do you have a no I wasn't gonna even ask those people to get a ride to the store I wasn't gonna do it I'm not gonna do it I don't care and this is what's wrong with the world satanic system you really satanic world system you know, I had this experience in this in the morning time. I basically slid into my child's body, my middle child, and opened my eyes, and I saw where he was. I looked around the room. I saw everything. I'd forgotten how my ex-wife's voice sounds, and I was listening to her, her bullshit. She was going on trying to tell somebody about them being... A different life and then a different life that they were, you know, somebody in Ithaca and blah, 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 blah. I looked at my oldest son. He was over here. I could see my ex-wife. She's sitting over there talking to somebody. And her, I saw her sister. Her sister was there too. And her sister looked at me where my, my, younger son is his name is Gaius Gaius Blake Watson and they got freaked out they knew something was going on they knew that they were being watched because they're sort of into witchcraft and shit they're evil they're evil they're evil they are and I don't like saying that about people. I really don't. But it, my experience with them, they have a military prostitution relationship. Their whole family. The women all run to fucking Mexico at the turning of the age, like alone, to go live on the border town and dance or do something. Every fucking woman in the family does it. And there's a lot of creepy shit. And to keep this thing going. And to get me out of there. Can't be involved. Because you know what? I could hear my ex talking. But she wasn't home. She wasn't home. She wasn't home. There was no sign of her. But the demon was, whatever demon's in them, it's generational, and it made them aware. It's like, so you're being watched. 
they all freak out. Now, it's only when I saw through my child's eyes, he wanted, he had questions, he wants to know why the fuck, dad, why the, where's my dad? Why don't I talk to my dad? Nobody's ever fucking answering it, or they tell him something they made up. Or something fucked up. I just recently had to call. Or I text the. um, My mother-in-law. Just to check on them. After a year. Many years actually. I'm like are they okay? I just want to know if they're okay. And would you give them my number. In case they want it. And just let them know. Hey I'm, I'm here for you. And if you need anything. Because there's nothing I can do. I pay child support. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear shit from nobody. About no bullshit. And let me tell you why. Because after I had this experience and I saw it with my eyes. The other shit that I saw on the news. Like the lies and shit. Not fucking falling for it. I'm not. I don't want to hear a motherfucking nothing about Ukraine. If I see that motherfucking pretend-ass president stand up there again with any fucking reasons for why he's going to stand with the... He's not even fucking standing for us. How the fuck is he going to stand for Ukraine? They're laundering our money through Ukraine. And who's letting them do it other than us? I couldn't even get my dad to even fucking respond correctly to there being these fucking labs they had on the border. We were building bio labs on the Russian border. I mean, are you fucking, are you kidding me? That's what they're doing. That's Russia done blew that shit up. Don't fall for the Ukraine bullshit. I'm not saying anything about what fucking Vladimir Putin does or doesn't do. We don't default into a war with people we're not at war with. I'm not at war with fucking Russians. I'm not at war with Ukrainians. I'm not at war with Chinese. I'm at war with fucking Joseph fucking Biden. To be honest... I'm at war with this woke-ass bullshit America cult ripping families apart tearing genitals off of kids fucking shit like that that's the war I don't care what other people do do what you do to make yourself fucking feel life be happy about it but this fucking country is fucked up the shit that they're doing the shit to keep it secret. You know, and I look back through my um, notifications. And there was one where it was, it was James Rank. And he looks young, you know, in his face. But he has a very similar face to my, my child. And he's like, must attend. And it was just his face and it said must attend. And I was like, you know... And a lot of these programs are why, and their secrecy and their using people for slavery is why. I don't fall in line with that. They did secret program shit to me when I was a kid or some shit like that. I don't even remember. I think I might have killed some kid and just come back up because I remember some shit about being a kid in the woods and... There was all kinds of creepy shit going on in Georgia. And I remember thinking that maybe I killed this kid. They made me do it. And I don't know. Something like that could be blocked out. But the minute I start pushing it shit, I get weird creepy shit like that bitch show up. And I'm going to say that bitch. Because she's fronting. She's not fucking anything but one of those people. Pretending to be some sort of advocate for something that she's not. She's not even clear on her own self. She looked like fucking crackhead piece of shit. She was pretty attractive before that. 
And I'm sure they have something at this game place where they fucking have all their mind control games going through the little panels. You know, I deleted the game that I play on here. And I took that motherfucker out. Deleted. And I loved it. I loved playing it. But I, what I was doing to play the game was doing something else. I wasn't playing their game. I was playing their game, but I wasn't playing their game. I was doing something else. When I listen to the Journey to the Truth podcast, <laughs> the guy said he had had this crazy dream where he went outside of his house. The uh, There were these crazy fucking trees. Yeah? Way in the sky, there were el there were airplane parts in the top of the trees, and like car parts and shit. And he's like, "This dude comes parachuting down, just like in the game, and landed in his yard." And he was so thirsty and he, he gave him some, I don't know what the water that they have that they all drink. And he's like, I gave him one of those waters and he was so thirsty. Right, I watched that and, and it was early in the morning. Right after I watched that, I went right into that dream. Into my own kid. Looking through his eyes. I just couldn't believe it and I so needed it. I so needed it. I needed it because there's no reason for that. But the reason they have it is evil. It's evil. It's steal your children, command and control and program them. I mean, we were kind of fighting against that sort of shit, but she was never on my side about it. She was only on her own side. And she'll just pick up and run the, pro run the program for whoever the hell she's with. She's not loyal. She doesn't care. She doesn't have feelings. You know, all the things that I would want you know, but there was, there's not a, there was not a genuine relationship because she didn't have feelings, broke, wrong, you know, I don't know. I mean, I have to tell myself that I have to see it to remember. There are narcissists out there. They do not have feelings. They don't feel upset about you what they did don't even fuck with me please <sighs> right good they don't have feelings you don't understand that when you have feelings if you have feelings I have strong feelings I had that experience happen to me and I fucking had the blood tears come out He hears me making noise, so he goes and looks, and he doesn't understand it. He's probably going to lock me out. Are you locking me out? Can't see anything. Anyway, I just wanted to share some of that. <laughs>